and welcome to episode 47 of the Daily Decrypt, independent members of LTV Network. I am your loving, faithful host, Amanda, and today's episode is brought to you by New Bits. The extremely popular YouTube channel Computerfile has today released a video called What is Bitcoin? And if you visit it, you will notice that in the comment sections, Computerfile's viewers are largely commenting that they don't understand Bitcoin from having watched this video. They still have questions about what's a hash? What's a mining machine? How do blockchains work? And I think that right now would be an extremely good outreach time for those who have answers to these questions to go and interface with these people on the comment section of the computer file video. The video also fails to mention increasing prices and increasing scarcity as building incentives for miners. And so there's all sorts of things that people are befuddled about in the comment section there. So I encourage you to go and reach out to them. Bitcoin and almost all cryptocurrencies have had a nice little surge in the past 24 hours. And so if you're the type who likes to buy low and sell high, you may be spending some Bitcoin today. I know that I did. I put in an Amazon order through Purse, asked for 19% off, and then I went and spent some Fold App gift cards at Starbucks, which were 20% off. And so I'm wondering, do you know of any other ways where one can get a discount for spending cryptocurrency instead of fiat? If you do, again, please share them with us in the comment section. There is new and exciting code on GitHub from developer Owaki, which is called Adblock to Bitcoin. It's meant to help people whose websites are monetized by ads ask their viewers who use ad blockers to donate Bitcoin to help cover expenses. When used, the code makes a friendly message pop up in place of where ads would be, saying things like, hey, I noticed you've blocked 200 of our ads. While you have every right to do so, we were just wondering if you'd be willing to chip in 50 cents worth of Bitcoin. And this would be useful not only for web owners' revenue streams, but also potentially for Bitcoin adoption in general. And I am confident that a lot of people who don't use Bitcoin today would be incentivized to do so if they knew that it could remove their guilt about their ad blocker. The code is of course free and open source and available linked in the description. New headlines have cropped up today that there's been a baby advance in the advent of quantum computers. And a lot of people wonder, what does this mean for cryptocurrencies, which are of course reliant on cryptography for their security? There's not actually a lot published on the subject. Probably the most referred to piece was a blog post written by Vitalik Buterin, developer of Ethereum, back in 2013 in which he explains that if enough lead time were given, say a few weeks, that cryptocurrencies could be retrofitted to deal with any possible threats of quantum computing. But as with so many things, certainly there is more than one way to skin a cat. So if you are aware of any live and active discussion forums, or even articles not mentioned here, which talk about how cryptocurrencies would fare and perhaps even thrive in a quantum computing world, do share them in the comment section below. Whale Club is an active group of hundreds of Bitcoin traders who chat regularly with one another on a TeamSpeak server. Whale Club also has its own YouTube channel and podcasts, and they've recently launched a Telegram chat group and are inviting anyone who's interested in discussing price movements and speculation to join them. Telegram really seems to be blowing up in its usefulness lately. I'm not sure if you've realized that or if you've joined, but I do recommend joining if you haven't. They have both mobile and desktop versions. And there's a wicked handy wallet in Telegram called Telebit, which has zero fee transactions. And they can do that because their sponsor is Trezor and Trezor is paying for all of the transaction fees. And so if you're a Whale Club trader, what better way to save money, I would say. So the invite to join Whale Club's chat is in the description, should you choose to do so. Today's episode has been brought to you by Nubits, which is a cryptocurrency whose value has been almost exactly one US dollar for over a year. The Nubits people are able to pull this off because they strategically control the available supply of Nubits, utilizing crypto equity tokens called new shares. What magic is this? How does it work? You can learn more about that at newbits.com. And have a great day.